welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Drea and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you are new here, hit that little subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if it resonates, give me a little thumbs up and comment to let me know how or why. We got a free reading giveaway going on until the end of July. Super easy to enter. That is linked in my description box if you want to enter. If you want to book a reading with me, my email is in the description box as well. I'll never message you for a reading, so just be aware of scammers. And thank you for being here. I want to say thank you for all the likes, shares, subscribes, the, the super likes, all the donations, all the decks, everything you guys do. It does not go unnoticed, okay? I love you all. And am I forgetting anything else? No, I think that's it. So, what are we talking about today? We are talking about what's your current reputation, all right? Let's see what's going around town about you, okay? Uh, and this could be just in general throughout your whole lifetime, like what has been like a constant theme for you as well. So I think it's going to be a mixture of both. So, we have three piles today and you can pick one, one, one. More than one pile if you feel called to. So we have pile number one, which is the Star Tarot. Pile number two, which is the Trade Divya deck. And pile number three, which is the Pastel Journey Tarot deck. I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the pile that you picked. Bye. What up, pile number one? It's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if it resonates, shoot me a little thumbs up and comment. Let me know how or why, baby, okay? So, I want to say thank you for catching a vibe, okay? If you want to book a reading, my email's in the description box, but I'll never message you for a reading. So just be careful of scammers. And we do have a free reading giveaway going on until the end of July 2024. Check that out. Super easy to enter is linked in my description box, okay? So we're going to get your current energy to see if this is your pile. If this doesn't resonate, you can watch another pile, watch another reading, watch another reader, do whatever makes you happy. you got to keep in mind, thousands of people are watching, so not every message may resonate for you. But it is my intention that it feels like a personal baby. So let's get it. What is pile number one's current energy? All right, moving on up. You got a big change coming in your life. Something is, some of y'all could be moving. We have space, okay? You could be changing, re redecorating your space. But also, I feel like you're removing things from your life, decluttering your life, creating more space, which is going to allow a vortex to come in of new things, okay? Because we have power. Your life may have been kind of hard. And um, I think more love, peace, and ease is coming in. I think you're going to get into a new swing of things, okay? I feel like there hasn't been any change in your life that has been, like, any substantial change, okay? Maybe you have little changes here and there, but I feel like you just want a better quality life. And I think that's coming to you because you're stepping into your power. You're starting to say no to whatever doesn't resonate to you. You're starting to say no to what you don't have time for, no longer people pleasing, and you're removing whatever was blocking you. Okay, whether it was a job, people, a mindset. I don't know, there's this big shedding energy. I'm seeing a snake, serpent, kundalini awakening could be happening. You could be aligning your chakras, going through a lot of energy work, whether you're consciously doing it or it's happening in the ethers. There's big divine support coming through here. Something resonates, um, well, something resonates. <laughs> something about your dreams and um, how they're going to resonate with your current reality and there's going to be guidance coming through so just pay attention to your dreams if you're not having dreams then you know you might be starting to have some dreams so just just beware okay but um there is this emphasis on you are definitely changing so it could be as drastic as you moving or it could just be you know your energy is changing and then new opportunities new people new situations are coming in because as you change your vibration your reality changes again as above so below as within so without baby y'all already know the deal but there is this emphasis on like life isn't gonna suck anymore it's not that your life sucked but i just feel like you know it's just like you want better you want more love you want more peace you want to release whatever was blocking you don't want drama i feel like there's just been a lot of tension maybe even your body has been super tense and stuff like that i think again this ease Ease in your mindset, ease in your day-to-day, -day, ease in not having to stress about certain things. I feel like you guys have been super stressed about our bills and other obligations. And I feel like those are going to start to be able, being able to get taken care of because things, again, are going to get easier. So the things that you need are being provided soon enough. You just have to stay positive and keep your vibration as high as possible. And I know it's not easy, but that's the test. Faith. Are you going to be fearful? Because if you're fearful, that keeps your vibration low, which blocks your blessings. So this is like a reminder to like, 
even when things look bleak do whatever you can to raise your vibration okay listening to frequencies going out into nature spending time with somebody who loves you spending time with your pets doing something that you love painting drawing playing games spending time with children i don't know there's this emphasis on like do what you love right now and and do what you can whatever it is to feel good now okay and i don't mean drinking or smoking i mean things that are going to raise your vibration okay those things will will make you feel good temporarily okay but they're just going to lower your vibration and again block your blessings right now you need to detox in order to detox your life in order to allow new and better things to come in because you have a lot of good stuff coming to you okay baby but you have to take those necessary steps or else you're just gonna keep getting the same shit different day you know what i'm saying all right uh, i'm sorry <laughs> but um yeah and just trust that like you do have angelic support but ask it is and it is given you have closed mouths 444 don't get fed so talk to your guides talk to god pray get clear and concise about what you want from life and what kind of life you want to live write down your goals okay that'll help you in this time okay I'll give you something to look forward to as well all right if that resonates at all let's get into your reading all right somebody could be going through some acid reflux or something like that some heartburn indigestion upset stomach <laughs> if you finished it you're a g oh my god i'm sorry but anyway um what is your current reputation okay so i heard that you have a good reputation despite you thinking that you don't have a current uh, a good current reputation i feel like you feel like the people who um may have tried to tarnish your name i think you think that they succeeded but people can see through those people so i don't know who needed to hear that but you probably already knew that but like some of you guys i feel like maybe you didn't know that your reputation isn't bad and actually people really do enjoy you and support you and believe in you and don't believe the gossip and the drama <laughs> Cause there's something about that okay something about negative people trying to paint you as the negative one but people can see that they are clearly the negative one because your actions and your essence and yourself speaks for itself you know what i'm saying anyway <laughs> but yeah you you your reputation is that you you cleaned out house you you got rid of all the dusties okay you could like hoodies and stuff too i think you like cozy things you're the type of person like yeah you might like summer you know what i'm saying but there's this emphasis on like you <laughs> you like hoodies you like to dress comfy maybe sweats and stuff you still can dress out and show out and stuff like that but don't get me wrong i think you're a, you're a comfy person you choose comfort and the thing is is like you make comfort stylish so it's not like you don't have style it's just you like comfy things you may be a homebody as well that could be your current reputation with this sleep and rest but there is this emphasis on like you choose peace over everything <laughs> you will dip set up out of anywhere if it's dusty if it's negative if it's just not feeding you in a positive way you want peace and love baby okay you want to be in a higher vibration you're not trying to be over here with sally and jim all of them all arguing and being negative and shit and then they're lowering your vibration because of their drama and you're like what the fuck is this so you may have left toxic friends, a toxic situation, um, a toxic work environment. I don't know what this is, but you left something toxic and that is your reputation is if it's toxic, <laughs> you're out of here. Okay. So we have dusted off. We have the fool. We have sleep and rest and hustling. So the thing about you guys, and I know this says ignorance, rashness, and impulsiveness, but people know that you're smart. <laughs> okay. We're going to clarify all these with the tarot, but I don't feel like there's this ignorance okay i feel like that your current reputation is you don't have time for tomfoolery you don't have time for people who are ignorant you don't have time for people who don't take accountability for their actions you are also very loyal very creative and very grounded and you're a hard worker okay you do take risks but they're calculated risks and that's your reputation is you know you're not afraid to um scrap your whole life and restart okay you probably like moved to a whole new city or like quit a job and just took a leap of faith started your own business like there's this like rashness in regards to you taking leaps of faith and having everything work out for you because of you leaving some dustiness behind okay you may be somebody who likes to sleep or prioritize their rest you could be kind of hermit and you like to spend time alone but you're also somebody who is about your paper we have hustling okay make it a rain focus you're focused on succeeding okay look at this seven of wands and this is about like you know standing your ground boundaries and stuff but like if you look at this this is a lion roaring this guy's like victoriously we have one two three four five six wands and he's holding a wand so it's like you taking action towards some creative ventures bringing you success and that is your current reputation <laughs> look at the four of wands in reverse 
it's like you know when to rest and you know when to take action because you see we have hustling right so it's like you're getting money you're making you're making money you're working hard okay because i just said i know i contradict myself but you're a blend you know when to rest you know when you need to hibernate you know when you need to go within you know when you need to be like ah yo i can't chill da, 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 da. and then you also know when you need to grind 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 hustle 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 you're about your paper you're the type of person who puts longevity ahead of things okay if you know that like you need to do this and you'll make sacrifices now for the greater greater good of your future what's this dust it off pot one's current reputation knight of pentacles interesting and the eight of wands yeah okay so you're cleaning up your life <laughs> i have the eight of wands people are seeing it people are seeing you on social media maybe you just recently posted because i have the page of uh pa i said the page of wands interesting people are kind of attracted to you right now <laughs> and also you have this young energy okay you're looking younger i heard you're aging backwards very interesting but you're also you're bossing up you're becoming more responsible because we have the knight of pentacles so the eight of wands king of pentacles and the devil in the reverse because of you letting go of some toxic shit <laughs> whatever that is okay doo doo poo poo i'm sorry <laughs> um that's how you have ascended from this knight of pentacles into this king of pentacles okay or you're on your way and people can see it they said they said <laughs> they know that you're destined for um some type of financial success like that's what you're hustling for it you're going after it you know you're working hard and you're you're getting your flowers behind your back low-key because people aren't really telling you it maybe some people are but i don't think that people are really like congratulating you on like letting go of toxic people and and doing better okay maybe you used to drink and smoke a lot maybe you didn't know where you wanted to go in your life but you're figuring it out and you're you're bossing up you're responsible you're stable you're you're loyal again this emphasis on like people can d depend on you but you're also spontaneous you're also childlike you're also playful you're also fun and funny what's this fool oh wow we got a dropper penny dropper nah -uh. <laughs> now you being so attractive you got people wanting to take a risk on you king of cups the empress the wheel of fortune some people feel like you're a counterpart that's your reputation people are like that's my soulmate i'm gonna marry that person i'm gonna get in mind you <laughs> these could be people who don't even know you they're like yeah there's plenty of fish in the sea but i want this dolphin right here okay i don't care <laughs> okay someone has deep feelings for you we have two whales we have two whales you got multiple people who have deep feelings for you and then others who want to have fun with you because they feel like you're a fun time and then others who just kind of want to play in your energy um because they're players and they're like yeah there's plenty of fish in the sea but i kind of want to play with this fish real quick i'll throw it back after i'm done bitch you ain't throwing back the empress the fuck you mean <laughs> this is hilarious oh my god Whew. okay but yeah um you're looking really good and you have people wanting to take a, a an, an impulsive move and, and hit you up like you're gonna start getting messages pal one you're gonna start getting dms you're gonna start getting random strangers walking up to you saying oh my god i have to like you're so beautiful you're so handsome like can i get your number like people are risking it all like that's what's gonna happen because there's something about you right now you're glowing i don't know what's happening maybe it's you taking this rest and prioritizing yourself it's really making you go through some type of glow up <laughs> What's this hustling energy? Oh, wow. The Five of Swords. Your reputation is that you are going towards your success. Your hustling is bringing you in success and you're, you're victorious. But it's shocking people because you are no longer, you know, really focused on other people. People could even think that you're being selfish, that you're turning your back on them for that money. Okay, after you, you again, the reformed people pleasers in this pile. So people, some people don't really like it, you know, because we have the light and then the dark. So some people are like, oh yeah, they're loving themselves, they're doing this for themselves. I respect it. Da, 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 da. You also could be connecting to God way more, praying more, getting some wishes fulfilled as well. You're making it rain. So goals that you may have told people, and pe like God is proving to people you're an example god is setting an example with you because you have faith you took risks and your risks are finally getting the reward and people are like saying that you know but you also have this darkness over here so half these other people are like oh blah 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 talking shit which is irrelevant we're not we're not going to talk about that but yeah um what's well, the sleeping rust baby what's the sleep and rest oh, jesus Christ! That's way <laughs> too much. Just need one, please. Maybe you went through a burnout and then you had to sleep and rest for a while. That's for some of you. 
and now you're coming back out let's just sleep and rest yeah but i think you're no longer feeling guilty for prioritizing yourself yeah you're st <laughs> you're balancing you're like uh, you're resting you're taking time for yourself okay and then you're taking action towards some type of the fool came through again yo y'all are definitely risk takers yeah some of y'all took took a risk and like quit your job and, and started your own business and stuff or you know you went part-time in your in your job or you moved to a whole new city you know what i'm saying you trusted your intuition you stopped investing in something that wasn't your truth and now whatever it is that you're building and you're still letting your body like rest and you you know you're prioritizing you look well rested is what your reputation is is like you know when you first started maybe working this business and hustling and stuff you looked exhausted you looked drained but now it's like you dusted off something whatever you cut off you're no longer drained i feel like you had energy vampires and it was showing on your face it was showing on your body it was showing on your energy and now it's like you're high vibrational you're happy because you you shifted from whatever this dusty ass energy is Woo! shout out to you damn let's get into your tarot to close you out all right pile one you're making your dreams a reality um your current reputation is you're proving all the naysayers wrong okay your current reputation is that you were stuck um but you are enlightened okay you could be extremely psychic we have the high priestess over here the magician we got a pair okay you could be extremely spiritual and that's also part of your current reputation you went through a spiritual awakening again this emphasis on like you became enlightened and you released, you changed your perspective on the things that used to stress you out before. Okay. Jamaica is relevant. Maybe someone's going on vacation soon or someone just went on vacation. You could be somebody who likes to go on vacations a lot and you like to travel. So that could also be your reputation as well. For some of you, some of you guys are homebodies and you'd be chilling by yourself. Okay. <laughs> so let's talk about the cards before I continue. We have the hanged one. We have the eight of swords clarified deeper by the lovers. We have the two of swords and the six of pentacles with the high priestess, the four of wands, the five of cups and the magician. And on the back of the deck, we have the star and the nine of cups. You have an energy that everyone desires and <laughs> your current reputation is that everyone loves you, but you kind of keep to yourself. You're very secretive, you're very exclusive, elusive, picky, whatever you want to call it, okay? You only want to be around people who feed your soul and who are generous like you, who are on the same vibe as you because you've been betrayed a lot, because you've surrounded yourself around people who played at your anxieties, who messed with you, who, who played mind games, who bullied you, etc, etc, whatever it is. People know that you've experienced a lot of um, toxicity in your life. It doesn't matter where it came from, your whole life okay and um you know you went through some type of spiritual awakening and uh you were stuck or maybe you were going down the wrong path and your current reputation is you flipped your whole life upside down you're maybe in a relationship with someone that you love or your people are like this person's gonna marry their love like we have like the the four of wands and the lovers okay nine of cups they're saying your current reputation is that you are gonna get whatever it is that you want you are no longer stuck because you're no longer giving to the negativity. You have changed your self-concept. You finally see yourself the way that others see you. Okay? A lot of people didn't think you were going to like... Because I feel like maybe people like saw that you kind of didn't gas yourself up or you dimmed your light. And now it's like you're putting yourself out there truly as your true authentic self. You're shining. You're no longer allowing people to keep you trapped with their web of lies. There's a lot of emphasis on like a lot of people trying to make you feel insecure. A lot of people didn't want you to be happy. Whoever these people were, you let them go. You you shifted that shit. You have boundaries now, okay? You only give in to money, things that make you happy, your goals, dreams, des de desires, your loved ones, soul connections, aka friends, you know, fam and lovers. You know what I'm saying? You're manifesting your dreams. You're extremely intuitive okay you're healing from some type of generational trauma you're healing from childhood wounds you're healing from a tough life teenagers teenager wounds like there's a lot of emphasis on like you've been through the ringer and um you're finally getting your wishes fulfilled you also have a healing energy everybody loves you pal one okay but everyone knows that not everyone deserves your energy because you've been taken advantage of and they respect that but that does make a couple people sad because they want to manifest you, whether romantically, whether in a friendship vibe. I don't know. People also, your reputation is, is that you used to party 
right and you were the life of the party you people loved it when you showed up to the party because the whole energy of the party would shift and now you don't go out anymore or you don't chill with these people anymore and they're very sad you have people sad because they're no longer in your energy and they realize like damn this person was elevated damn this person really loved me unconditionally this person really accepted me because now they're seeing all the other people around them and they compare them to you and they're like Pal one was one of a kind Pal one was so generous. Pal one was so giving. Pal one always wanted to help me. Pal one only wanted the best for me. And I treated Pal one like shit. So you have a lot of people in regret right now. Your current reputation is that people are regretful for the way they treated you because now you will never give them that energy again. Anything else? Yeah, you're a wish fulfillment for a lot of people. Even if you're in a relationship, people are sad, bro. If you're single, people want to get you. People want to manifest you. But they're like, I have to like come correct because I know for a fact that this person had high maintenance. You have everything yourself. You're very independent. You may have suffered from codependency. You have abolished that, okay? Like, you're so balanced. You're a go-getter. You, you trust your intuition, you know? There's a lot of um, harmony too, and peace. You're so you're so amazing. You're such a go-getter. Okay, your current reputation is that you have let go of some type of um, mental block, whether it was um, anxiety, depression, and I'm not saying that you don't suffer from it anymore, but I'm not. I'm saying that it's like you you're making it manageable, or you learned how to transmute it in some way, and people are noticing it because maybe you were had social anxiety or you know you get overwhelmed in crowds and stuff and now it's like you're unfazed by people or you people can't affect you outside energies can't affect you anymore and that's your current reputation is that you are so <laughs> engulfed within your own energy and you love yourself so much that people cannot phase you anymore people can't upset you anymore people can't get you anxious people can't get you out of character yeah that's what we're gonna call it pile number one I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. What up, pal two? It's your girl, Drea, and the Seattle's Intuition. Pal one was fire. I can't wait to see what comes out for y'all. If you're new here, hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if it resonates... Give me a little thumbs up and comment to let me know how or why. If you want to book a reading, my email's in the description box. But I'll never message you for a reading. We do have a free reading giveaway going on until the end of July 2024. So check that out. Super easy to enter. That information is listed in the description box as well. Guys, we're going to get your current energy to see if this is your pile. Keep in mind that thousands of people are watching. So not every message may resonate for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't let these messages take from you, baby. Thank you for being here. Let's catch a vibe. Okay, <laughs> why did I get more excited? I was already excited in pile one, but I can't wait to see what comes out for you guys. I don't know what's happening. All right, pile number two's current energy. Hmm. I heard I came in like a wrecking ball. Yeah, we have action. Yeah, about that action right now. Mm. Also, I was hearing the truth is going to be revealed. So someone could be speaking their truth to you. Wow, came in like a wrecking ball. We have action and change. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious some big okay someone is definitely could possibly take action towards you and tell you their feelings that is a random side note and it could be kind of shocking but then again i feel like you because with the moon it's like you would intuitively know i'm saying this because on the back of the deck i saw the moon in reverse so some type of truth someone is fighting their fear and going to speak their truth to you but yeah, I feel like um, you were going through a period where you were not stepping out of your comfort zone and you're finally breaking free because you came in like a wrecking ball. And, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you're changing. Not only are you changing the things that you do day to day, but like I feel like it's a slow transition. Like maybe you're like, okay, I'm spontaneously going to go over here. I'm going to sign up for a new course. Or I'm going to join the gym or I'm going to, you know, go out to eat at a new restaurant or I'm going to go to this place. It's like you're going to new places new spaces kind of more open to meeting new people too because we have friend okay listen yeah like going to maybe coffee spots or something like that changing your rituals changing your daily routine changing your sleep schedule you're taking action because you're sick of the same shit kind of similar to part one going through the same shit different day they had to take action you are in the the midst of taking action and stepping out of your comfort zone and doing more of the things that you love as well you're focusing on getting grounded and whatever actions that you have been taking over these 
past few months they're leveling you up and bringing you towards a new door of opportunity that's going to bring you happiness okay you're going to be so joyful hands in the air you're going to love this you're going to be blossoming and blooming these changes that are coming in they're not spontaneous okay they're feeling spontaneous because you're making spontaneous changes but like you've been taking baby steps Okay, baby steps are still steps and they're better than standing still like you've slowly but surely been on this path for a long time and you know now you're about to start reaping the rewards okay getting those blessings feeling more happy more excited there's something about um you becoming magnetized magnetizing maybe that's why people are going to be hitting you up okay i noticed i said people i thought only one so maybe you have multiple people are gonna start telling their feelings to you <laughs> Oh my god, kind of similar to pile one. That's interesting. So some of y'all could have come from that pile because you you obviously know if you did because that's a repeat message coming through in the current energy. That's kind of crazy. But you know, we'll see what happens when you, with your reputation. But yeah, you're a star. You're shining. You're trusting your intuition. The actions that you have been taking and doing and the risks that you've been taking, they're, they're bringing this golden opportunity that's going to really show you why you did what you did and why everything was working out for you even when things were tough even when you didn't have any idea what would be the outcome you trusted the journey you surrendered you did what you could you flew through your emotions if you got upset you felt it you let it go you know what i'm saying you're no longer holding grudges too and i feel like you released a lot of things in regards to your confidence you're becoming more confident you're becoming more happy you're becoming more grounded you're not allowing your outside circumstances to mess with you anymore thus your inner reality has found peace thus your outer reality is finding peace which is why you have big change coming in you're gonna have to take a leap of faith some type of um decision is going to be made in regards to you actually having to take like you've been taking baby steps but now it's going to be like some drastic ass change is going to be coming in pretty soon so if that resonates at all let's get into your reading all right pal two we are going to clarify deeper of course to see if we can get any more information but we have moves in silence <laughs> we have barbara 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 someone's name could be barbara no barber and we have live your dream and then we have karmic friends Woo! people band together to try and like tarnish your reputation again that energy is coming through but you had karmic friends and you moved on you had enemies next to you sitting in the seat next to you faking it acting like they was all funny and chummy and stuff like that go behind your back and talk and everybody knew what was going on but everyone kept it shh everyone kept it silent because they were all you know scared of whoever these people were or they all thought they would be outcasted it's like these people wanted to fit in right these people chose to not honor their core values to not honor their integrity and just allowed people to talk shit on you and, and tarnish your name behind your back even if you're not connected to these people these people know that there's people who know that these karmic people are talking shit and making shit up and it's getting tense for them okay because they're all in competition they're all going crazy they know they can't touch tr trust each other because they're seeing how these people are tarnishing your name and they're like damn so they probably talk shit behind my back i don't know what that's about <laughs> oh my god that may have been like a a friend group okay that you may have left or just distanced yourself from and um now the truth of the matter is is that they're all in girl crazy they're all in competition and they're all kind of bugging out okay they were trying to keep you close because keep your uh enemies close you know keep the people that you're in competition with close so that you can you know copy them or steal their ideas or whatever it is or you know like I don't know they like to make fun of people because it makes them feel better about themselves so they band together come into a group and just talk shit and I'm like bro what the fuck that's kind of crazy <laughs> what are you doing with your life okay you're living your dream and these people are in secret competition still talking shit still being karmic hanging around out hanging out with people who they don't really like it's weird okay what's this moves in silence they're clowns all right we got two cards the are we taking reverses for this group yes okay the queen of swords in the reverse and the eight of pentacles in the reverse wow the ten of wands in the reverse you've closed out some kind of busy body cycle 
okay you're moving in silence and i feel like you're not working as hard as you need to okay you were going through a period of negativity because maybe these people were sending you negative energy but i feel like every time you were like doing good like something bad happened because of like some kind of negativity and your current reputation is is that you move in silence because you had so many haters you had so many people who tried to fuck with you or people just you can't trust people you know what i'm saying people just betrayed you too much so you move in silence and that's your current reputation is like every time you would tell people about things it wouldn't work out or um somebody would talk shit and then gaslight you out of this maybe you keep your 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 relationship like private and all your work private and all this other stuff and because you're moving in silence you have the negative nancy's kind of triggered and shit because it's like how can i do my work against you how can i talk shit about you if you're moving in silence like how can these karmic friends talk about you if you ain't telling them nothing if you ain't posting nothing because they used to like go on your stories or go on your page and be like did you see this did you see what they're wearing did you see them in that video did you see what they did like bitch get a life oh my god talking about you in a group chat and shit crazy these people ca called themselves your friends but really they were they were fake and you ate a cup stick you 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 ate 86 stick you walked away <laughs> you said fuck this shit i'm out <laughs> okay what's this live your dream yeah you never well that's a lot you have a lot of goals and dreams and you're you're making them a reality again okay but there's this emphasis on like <laughs> these people are talking shit and you're literally about to start living your dream you already are living your dream and you never gave up on yourself your life is about to become so good you live an adventurous life as well i feel like you take a lot of risks risks too but i feel like you may be the type of person who goes into nature and like you know does things like goes on roller coasters and does spontaneous trips and you know you like to go camping or be out in the wilderness and shit like that you may like a lot of different things you know Okay, what is this live your dream? You never gave up on yourself. You took risks. Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're taking some... You're making... I, I heard you're taking lemons and making lemonade, but with this Ace of Wands, it's like you're taking back your power and you're creating something from cre your creative ventures. Your, your fight... You fought your fears. Maybe you created a business that was a creative thing. Like, you make candles and now all of a sudden you sell it. You know what I'm saying? You're living your dream and you're busy as hell. That's your reputation is that you're very busy, you're very balanced, you're very productive, you're creative, you're making things that are helping you to live your dream. Like, like let's say you used to cut hair out of the house and now all of a sudden you got your own barber shop and stuff like that. Or maybe you got a chair and you're on your way to having your own barber shop or a tattoo shop or something like that. It's like you started from the bottom and now you're climbing to the top, okay? that's what it's giving it's like this has been years in the process and people like was like oh your little hobby you cutting hair on the side like that's an example but whatever it is and now it's becoming a reality and these karmics is mad and you moving in silence but people still see it people still hear about it through the grapevine and they're like pissed off <laughs> sucks to suck beach all right let me stop <laughs> ew okay let me calm down <laughs> it's just so funny uh, do people not understand that karma is a bee? Nah, karma's always on time, baby. Especially since Saturn retrograde is going on. Everyone who did some fuck-ish, they're getting punched in the face by Saturn. Anyway, Barber. Queen of Cups. In the reverse. It says, artist of tresses. I don't know how to say that. Trimming, beautification, adornment. People adore you. People love the way you dress. People love the way you look. People think you take amazing care of yourself, okay? You could smell really good, smell really clean. There's something about laundry or like your body wash, body soap, uh, your hair products, your face products. You take really good care of yourself, justice. Okay, maybe in the past you didn't really take care of yourself, you didn't really love yourself, and now it's like you've blown up into this person who really prioritizes your looks, okay? Maybe I heard ugly duckling, so maybe you looked like, you know, you had your little glow up a li little later in life and people really didn't expect that and now people are like oh there's a lot of people who do not like that because again you have these karmics who are mad they they thought you know there's people who like felt they were better than you because maybe they looked better than you but they had no substance and now you probably look better than them or you're doing better than them there's something about this is your justice the balance the scales have been balanced 
Okay, you're no longer stressed. Yeah, King of Wands, the Emperor, you're bossing up. Eight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles in the reverse. You're bossing up and it's not taking hard work. Okay, you got emotionally, you got people emotionally triggered. You have people emotionally triggered because of the fact that you may be stepped up in your fashion. You may be stepped up in your beauty regimen. You may be looking better, feeling better, smelling better. And it's like you're living better too and you're doing it all in silence. You're not showing it off. You're keeping very humble. And that's what's pissing people off is because something about your eyebrows too could be looking really good. But you got people pissed off because of the fact that everyone's still talking about it. Everyone's still finding out about it because I don't know what is going on. Again, maybe you became a social media influencer, but you don't post your private life, but you post, you create content, right? So people are seeing you, but they ain't seeing you and they're triggered because <laughs> a lot of people do love you. A lot of people adore you. Okay. Yeah. The magician, you, you've been working, you've been manifesting, you've been glowing and, and, and you got these karmic friends pissed off. They're tense as hell because they've been in secret competition and now it's like you're humbling them because you're outdoing them. All they had was the vapid shit and now it's like they feel foolish because it's like, damn bro, they're going backwards and you going forwards. What's this karmic friends? Whoa, we got two, three, we got three. Five of cups, they're sad because you're gone. Four of wands, their relationships are going down the drain. Knight of wands, some of them actually desire you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> some of them you you had the karmic friends and they're sad and they actually want you they were toxic but they want you what someone who was karmic and you wanted at one point maybe you had a crush on them or whatever they rejected you made you sad that relationship didn't work out this is random only for a couple of you all of a sudden this person's getting karma and they want to rush back in but they're not going to be able to have access to you because you're putting yourself out there and you're shining for others and somebody else is going to end up getting you and this person's super stressed in the mental because they fumbled the bag but also there's friends who are stressed because they fumbled the bag they see you moving forward towards your dreams this night is like running towards this live your dream you know what i'm saying you're just like <laughs> like over there and they're like tripping on that 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 mule <laughs> jackass over there okay like you know i'm sorry what, what's with these animal noises <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> that was random anyway you get it okay let's move on to your tarot all right pile two after we left the farm <laughs> i'm just kidding uh some of y'all could go to the farmer's market random but um so let's talk about the cards before we even dive into this because um we have the seven of cups the hermit the justice the fool and then we also have the ten of swords the i'm not surprised about that we have the three of pentacles the star and the world and the lovers a lot of major arcana hold on sorry i had to replenish okay let's talk about this <laughs> You had to go, Hermit. You disappeared off the face of the earth, and your current reputation is that you're popping out, baby. People thought you was done. People thought they they stuck a fork in it, and it was, bing, like, done, baby. They thought you was done. They thought you was going to give up on your dreams. They thought you was delusional for trying to go after whatever, whatever it is that you were going after or whatever. Okay, whether it was a relationship, whether it was a job, whether it was a goal, whether it was like a lifestyle, I don't know what this is, but you had multiple dreams that you wanted to make reality. You went hermit, you went within, and you took action, okay? You balanced yourself, and you took a leap of faith, despite all the bullshit, okay? Despite all the negativity, you've been through a lot of hardships, and that's your reputation, is that no matter what, you still put in the work. You're a busy bee. You didn't allow your shortcomings, okay? You didn't allow the betrayals the people against you the backstabbings to block you from getting your wishes fulfilled okay and now you're shining some of y'all with the star in the world and uh the world i was gonna say the the lovers it's just the world and the star excuse me <laughs> um you could be very popular on social media or just popular in general and i feel like you know even if you are hermit again popular loner kind of vibes for this pile <clears throat> so you probably get that all the time but there is this emphasis on um yeah people thought because you went hermit and you were focused on yourself or you, you wasn't posting and stuff that you disappeared again you were moving in silence that whole fucking time you were putting in the work a busy little bee but not bragging not doing nothing but just taking leaps of faith after the multiple options that you want to fulfill, the multiple options that you want to manifest into your life. And this is your justice. 
you have new opportunities coming in and that's that's um your current reputation is that you this is your karmic justice and they're not not saying it like that but they're saying like yo you see you see pal two popping out after getting stabbed in the back shish kebobbed over here and shit and they're just doing fine <laughs> and uh that's also the karma for those who stabbed you in the back is you getting more money getting recognition you know getting more opportunities to work getting supported getting some multiple wishes fulfilled because if you look she's one big wish is coming in for you but you have all these other little wishes that have already been trickling in you're pouring into yourself you're healing okay your current reputation is that you have healed from the backstabbings you don't care about that shit no more whoever betrayed you you can walk past them and it's like they never existed it's like you never knew each other somebody that you still you didn't have to cut me off every time i hear that like that's your current reputation is your cutoff game is strong that sword don't that slices through everything okay you can cut through diamonds baby also because i mentioned diamond <coughs> Your diamond who was created under pressure, okay? You do have some snakes that were trying to hold you back because we have these snakes here, okay? And, uh, you know, I don't know if you can see it because it looks like my autofocus is not on. And these have a glare. But, yeah, he's being held back by some kind of treacherous snake. Two snakes. So maybe you had people who you thought were your friends and they try to play you like a fool try to stab you in the back whole time you knew what was going on you just moved accordingly a lot of people thought you was dumb thought you was ditzy thought you wasn't paying attention thought you was in la la land whole time you've been this wise ass motherfucker putting in that work and now you've made the decision to go towards your success to close out cycles and to heal you're healed you don't get triggered by those people you could see the people who stabbed you in the back and you'll smile on their face and you'll walk right by them act like they're just a random stranger and that triggers them <laughs> but that's your reputation maybe you did that to somebody uh you saw somebody who stabbed you in the back who you don't talk to anymore or something like that and it's like you didn't you just you know boop non-existent Maybe you do that to multiple people and that's why it's like your reputation because you may be, you know, around these people or you live in the same block still or whatever and then you see them and you're out and about and then you're just like, you're not like saying hi to nobody, you're just hermit, okay, you're by yourself, going after your goals and dreams, shining, people, you're getting attention from other people, you're, you're a shining star. You definitely could be like a, a, an influencer or something like that or you have a business that could be online and you get a lot of traction on your website or on maybe you post your business on social media like let's say you're a barber and then you post like your 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 cuts and stuff i keep using barber because we had that but like you know what I'm saying that's just a hypothetical but apply it to your situation if it resonates you know what i'm saying Whew. anyway your current reputation is that you're going to be successful your current reputation is that a lot of people do have an eye for you. A lot of people consider you like a soulmate or their dream partner. A lot of people would love to take a risk on you and to marry you. Okay, you have people who are in um, current uh, connections. Your current reputation is that people who are in connections be looking at you, be checking you out. A lot of people uh, are, how'd your kids, how'd your wife? <laughs> okay, a lot of people are like, uh, you know, and you're not the home wrecker, okay? You just catch the eyes of people who want to wreck their own homes. You mind your business. You stay to yourself. And you got people out here trying to commit adultery and fucking do stupid shit. Because you're like, they're kind of like hall pass kind of person. Thirsty tricks. <laughs> As I take a sip of my drink. Alright, that's where we're gonna call it, Pod 2. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. What's up, Pal 3? Last but never least, it's your girl Drea. And this is the Owl's Intuition. Pal 1 and 2 were fire, bro. I had so much fun. I can't wait to see what comes out for y'all. If you are new, Hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if this resonates, some of y'all got money coming in, then um, shoot me a thumbs up and comment to let me know how or why, okay? We have a free reading giveaway going on that's linked in my description box. Super easy to enter. It's going on until the end of July 2024. And if you want to book a reading, my email's in the description box, but I'll never message you for a reading. So just be careful of scammers, okay? We're going to get your current energy to see if this is your pile. If this doesn't resonate, you can watch another pile, watch another reading, watch another reader. Always keep in mind that thousands of people are watching so you know just take what resonates and leave the rest baby
what is pile what is this pile three <laughs> what is pile three current energy please Ooh, you have a surprise coming in <gasps> shine why am i hearing that song from eve um no is it full size i think <laughs> eve's great no matter where she goes dress her up that's uh with uh what's her name that model wow i really forgot her name vivica fox is it vivica fox no that's not vivica fox she got a big forehead damn you know but it also has lindsay lohan in it as well when she was younger so we have focus we have a little kitty some of you guys might have a little kitty oh wow look at this because on the bottom we saw i saw calm and then it says if you avoid conflict to keep the peace you start a war within yourself all right so you're not I'm, it's not to say that you're not avoiding conflict i just think that you're not about drama but i do feel like you're speaking your truth to the point where it's like you're respectful but you are honest and you're like i'm not taking shit okay you're choosing peace but you're also speaking your truth if something upsets you if something triggers you if something doesn't sit right with you you're telling people the honest truth and you're accepting people's truths but you're not like keeping it in to bubble up and then explode okay maybe you guys had a <laughs> you know a habit of doing stuff like that you know avoiding conflict so you know dusting it other under the rug and not shining a light on certain things that were irritating you and triggering you now if it bothers you when you see it you say it that's what's happening okay but you're focused on your goals right now you're focused on your goals you're trying to remain calm okay if you focus on what you don't want there's a good chance you might get it focus on what you do want instead yeah again you're focused on your peace you're focused on focusing on shining okay some of you guys you are definitely shining in regards to becoming more of your true authentic self don't dim your light the world needs your unique talents and gifts shine brightly okay yeah you are surprising people because you are so gifted and that's really making you shine you could be going viral you could be becoming more popular you could getting be getting more sales or more um clients in regards to how gifted you are or the amazing product that you provide or you're getting more recognition and you're shining more at your job or in home or whatever people are seeing how much of an amazing person that you are and you're getting your flowers okay a lot of people doubted or or not even doubted they denounced your your talents they they pushed you to the side because you dimmed your light you know and now it's like you're just shining on unapologetically you're speaking your truth whenever you feel and people like this new you even if it is triggering to them because you are triggering a lot of people but they're kind of like yeah fuck with this okay because you're inspiring a lot of people like you may be triggering like one or two people but like you're inspiring hundreds of people with this new bomb ass dope ass uh effort kind of energy <laughs> you know what i'm saying but yeah, you keep shining because that's going to bring about a lot, okay? The truth is going to be revealed to how amazing you truly are to the right people in the right rooms and some new opportunities. Again, I was talking about abundance. You may have a new job offer coming in, a promotion or something like that. You may be posting on social media and then someone who's going to bring you up bring your name up to like their boss and be like wow this would be actually the perfect spokesperson for this it's like that kind of vibe i don't know if that's what you're interested in but if you are that is a possibility that that's going to keep coming in that's going to keep coming in interesting so you may have multiple offers i heard choose wisely so eight four 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 you're going to be divinely guided to choose only one and then ease into these other ones and stuff like that but like you're going to get so many offers that you have especially like if you get brand deals and stuff like that the thing about brand deals is like not every brand with me it's like i can't take every brand i tried and then i was like no because i don't know these things and they're like you need to post a video for this right away and i'm like whoa i didn't even try the product yet bitch like let me figure out what the fuck this is <laughs> like is this even good i'm not gonna sell something that i don't you know fuck with so you know it's like that kind of vibe so just use your discernment because you're gonna have a lot of like people trying to like you know use whatever this shine is whatever this clout whatever advantage you have to their advantage so you know just be aware of that but you do have a lot of abundance coming in because you're focusing on what you do want instead of focusing on whatever wasn't working out for you or what it is that you don't want okay so you're doing good if that resonates at all let's get into your reading okie dokie we got a lot going on here and i'm gonna clarify right away because i want to get clear because this is crazy okay um let's talk about the cards before i even clarify we have thank you uh, moving on thank you next we have madman we have received and then we have marrying for money what the fuck is going on <laughs> 
Oh my god. I'm hearing uh, Michael Jackson when he was like, it's all lies. It's nothing. Don't believe them or something like that. That's not what he said exactly word for word, but it's like that kind of vibe. You know? <laughs> it's all bullshit. It's all lies. So I guess it, there's your reputation, half of your reputation is lies. Because you have people who are, um, you know, going in, people want to bring chaos. These people are angry. Uh, okay. What's this, um, uh, moving on? Yeah, you moved on from somebody and you're heading towards your goals and dreams. You have boundaries. You turned your back on maybe a marriage or a friendship or multiple people because we have this five of swords energy. There's all different hands, okay? You turned your back on multiple people because maybe they were selfish. Maybe they were controlling, okay? Toxic, narcissistic kind of vibes. You chose your independence. You chose self-love. Bam. You're moving on. You turned your back because you want your happiness. You saw clearly this isn't working out for me. Whatever this is in regards to you moving on okay and you're heading towards something that's actually fueling you up something that gets you excited something that is worth taking action towards also you could be moving more you could be going um out into you know the wild aka like going on walks more going into nature riding your bike etc etc maybe going out more in regards to parties and stuff like that yeah that's only for some of you what is this madman because that's crazy Okay, I saw the Eight of Cups flip up real quick. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. You have people going in a frenzy. You're causing chaos because you're healing, because you're turning your back, because you're happy, because you have boundaries, because you have saw these people for who they were. You saw that they were imbalanced. You saw that they were dishonest. You saw they were immature. Okay, you're, you're focused on your bag. You're no longer trapped. You left some people behind. They were possessive over you. They're mad. They're going crazy. You're getting good luck. And they're pissed. You're pissed because you're slowly but surely improving your life. You had to leave. You you definitely left some people behind. Again, because there's, this, you know, and some of y'all definitely, yeah. You went through it all. You went through it all. And now you're receiving your blessings because you let go of this this person or uh, this relationship or these friends or this, this, whatever the fuck this is, okay? This job. Whatever it was, it was blocking your success, Okay. And you turned your back and now you're happy, you're shining, you're you're living the best life ever and you have people going in a frenzy, like fucking throwing meat chunks into the the, the ocean and then all the sharks just come up and just blah, 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 go crazy. Like what? <laughs> you got the sharks going wild, bro. They're biting each other trying to get chunks of fish. Trying to get the what do you call that shit? That they the chum <laughs> not hearing the chum bucket. Yeah, the truth of these people is being revealed too. People are actually seeing that these people are crazy. People are seeing that these people are mad because these people are obsessed with you. That's kind of crazy. Woo! Okay, what's this marrying for money? Because that confused the fuck out of me. <clears throat> okay, so some of you guys, people thought you married somebody because they had money, but you may have divorced or left them. Okay. Yeah, you're healing from something. But also, there's this emphasis on because you've walked away <laughs> and you're healing and stuff like that, you have people who have money, who are watching you, who are interested in you, and this could be your justice. That's just a, a random side note, I guess. <laughs> but for those of you, um, you know, I feel like even if you were, if, let's say you were dating somebody who was really wealthy, but it was toxic, they were mad and stuff, people thought you were going to stay in an unhappy relationship because of the money, and you ended up walking away and healing because you wanted peace, you said, fuck that shit. So that's very specific for only some of you. Others of you guys, they, people think that you are going to ma be making generational wealth, and it's making them kind of sad and upset. Because they know that. They can see. Like, your path is becoming more visual. Like, people are seeing how gifted you are. How you're getting more love. More compliments. You're healing. You're, you're so wise. You're taking action towards your gifts. And dreams. And you're opening up your hands to, to receive. You're probably going to get spoiled. Also, there could be a reputation that maybe you have a sugar mama or a sugar daddy or something like that. That could be, again, we, it's all lies. Don't believe them. You know, <laughs> like there's something about these people are like trying to make shit up. 
I don't know, man. That's kind of crazy. I heard Feet Finder. I heard OnlyFans and stuff like that. People are thinking that you're making money off of, like, people who are married and shit. And, pe like, you got married people, like, paying you and shit. Or, like, something like that. I don't know. I mean, you look good. Empress. <laughs> <laughs> Ned one, so people are passionate about you. That is your rumor. That, that your rumor. There's so many rumors going about you. This is your reputation. So your reputation is that you have a lot of rumors that some are true and some are false that are going around. And it's kind of funny because people are like getting lost. They're going mad. It's, it's pure chaos. It's pure chaos because people don't know really know what's going on with you. <laughs> this is so crazy. Ball three. What the fuck? What does this receive? God damn. Oh, very interesting. Okay, Four of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, um, I think you're rejecting people who try to manipulate you. And because you're doing that, you have people who are actually going to give to you, who are attractive, who are loving, and who are pretty much your soulmate. Okay, you rejected somebody who was toxic. And now it's like you're glowing up. <clears throat> you're no longer stuck and stagnant. And now you're receiving your blessings, okay? You were so focused on maybe this toxic relationship, those toxic friends, that toxic job. It was draining you that you couldn't even focus on whatever it is that, that, that you needed to focus on. You took some time, and now you're healed, and now you're better. Again, you turned your back on whatever it is, and now it's like you're going through some type of glow because you let go of the toxicity. Also, people cannot manipulate you anymore, and that has kind of people upset. And also, people are upset because you're rejecting them. These madmen people, these these crazy people, many men wish death upon me. Okay, a lot of people really did, yo prayed on your downfall, baby. A lot of people are pissed. You got people heated because you survived whatever they were trying to throw at you. You got some people who like legit was like trying to do like like pay practitioners or like do their own work against you, and now they're going crazy. Because what you send out has to go through you and you're protected. God always had your back. So this is very specific. This pile is very specific. So if this doesn't resonate, you can cl click another pile or just, you know, do what you got to do. But this is a very specific pile. Not like in regards to this, because that was another message. But I'm saying that you've had people who prayed on your downfall, who wished you were not, people who didn't wish you were, were on this earth, people who didn't wish that you were like here. Okay, let's just say that. And... They wanted to do something about it. They can't. Now they're going through some type of karma. If they try to get some type of... <clears throat> work with some type of deity. Okay? Or some type of, you know, do some voodoo hoodoo type shit. Bro. Because it's like that girl who um, was doing all kinds of magic. She had like hundreds of thousands of followers, right? And uh, she was doing magic. And she was working with like deities and stuff like that. Doing voodoo hoodoo. But like it was not like you know <laughs> good and she had to pay the piper so get what she did she killed her man she took her kids in her car and then she cra she kicked her kids off of the out of the car on the highway and then she crashed in her car crashed her car and died she had to pay the piper you know what i'm saying which is crazy so what it's not i don't know if it's gonna be that crazy but whoever tried to play with you that's kind of like the energy they're getting their karma Okay, so I don't know who tried to fuck around with Pal 3, but they fucked up, baby. Because you got heavy hitters on your team. Holy shit. Okay, let's get into your tarot. Pal 3, why was I hearing great googly moogly? That thing is juicy. <laughs> Good God. Ugh. You got that thing? You got some cheeks, baby? Hmm? Heard you got a nice body. I don't care how big, small, okay? You maybe got some wide hips. Big tilts. <laughs> a nice chest, nice abs. Or there's something about somebody likes your body, okay? Whew. Let's talk about it, because I don't know. That shit was crazy in the, in the yeah, you, you was there. Um, some of y'all could have come from another pile, because we had the Ten of Swords in the same exact spot, so that's interesting. If you did, you would know exactly. But anyway, <clears throat> so we have... Um, my notorious watch more than one pilers. I love you guys. Thank you. We have the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups and the Nine of Swords, clarified deeper by the Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords, a lot of swords energy. You live in people's head rent free. People constantly talk about you. People constantly stress about you because you cut them off. Okay, Ten of Swords, the Death, Three of Wands. <clears throat> that has to do with that practitioner shit or whatever, or people just preying on your downfall. 
And then we have the Hierophant, the Two of Cups, the Moon, and the Eight of Cups again. I'm leaving, baby. It's over. It's over. I'm leaving. I'm gone. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> You're abundant or you're stepping towards your abundance, okay? You're investing. You're working hard. You're patiently waiting, and people know that you're destined for success. I have the King of Pentacles, Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, okay? People try to penalize you for believing and in investing in whatever this is, for planting a seed, and now you have a big bush with all your pentacles coming in, and people are going to be like, you know, damn. I didn't know. I didn't know. Your reputation is that, again, similar to another pile, you made it out the dirt. You made it out the roughness. You were stabbed in the back. You were stressed. You were anxious. Maybe you were going through money problems. You were going through lack. Maybe you had to quit your job. You got fired or whatever it is. You went through hardship in regards to finances, in regards to your mental state, in regards to, you know, drama and shit and bullshit, not knowing where you wanted to go in life, etc. All that shit. You went through it all. Relationship problems. You dealt with liars. People who were moving funny behind your back crazy and now it's like you out here flossing um your reputation is that you have nice jewelry you accessorize you pull outfits together with your accessories okay you kind of have a unique style you could have nice hair in regards to maybe you dyed your hair you could have dreads you could have short or long hair it doesn't matter but there's something about the texture you could have straight hair too but i feel like you may be like <clears throat> do beach waves and stuff or you may style your hair heat heat styles uh you know or you may do ponytails and like stuff like that, slick back, buns, I don't know. I think you have multiple hairstyles that people really enjoy. And you know, if you're bald, don't take that. <laughs> but um, you know, you could even have dyed your hair like purple, pink, or blue or something like that. Or something like extravagant like bright red or you could have natural red hair or like blonde hair. There's something about your hair color. Even if it's black, people do like your hair a lot. Unless your reputation is that you have nice hair. Okay? Anyway. <clears throat> Slim thickums over here with thickies. Nice ass fucking legs. <laughs> Not me talking mad vulgar. You got nice fucking legs, bitch. Okay? Like, yeah. You got nice legs. There's something about that. You have uh, nice calves, nice buns, nice arms, stylish. You look cool. Your face is intimidating, and that's your current reputation. Okay? You look dissatisfied sometimes. Like, your face doesn't lie. If you're pissed off, you look angry. If you're discontent, you look discontent. If you're sad, you look sad. If you're bored and over it, like you're bothered, you look. your face speaks for itself, okay? That's your reputation is your face don't lie. If something ain't right or if you think something's disgusting, you're going to make a disgusted face. You're going to be like, ugh. <laughs> like, your lips going to curl the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so funny. But yeah, um, you, your current reputation is that you're a heartbreaker. Even though you're not a heartbreaker, I feel like you're just rejecting somebody and you have somebody all up in their head and that's your current reputation is that people, you, you gave people chances. They stabbed you in the back romantically. Maybe you dealt with a lot of situationships, players, and they're all falling for you and they're all salty because you're cold to them, because you're not talking to them anymore, because you're no longer overgiving. Maybe these people breadcrumbed you and you would overgive to them and now it's like you cut it off, you dead that shit, you was like, fuck this, I'm not getting stabbed in the back, I have bigger and better things to focus on. You're going after your goals, you're making money moves, you're not worried about love. And if you're in a relationship, don't take that. <clears throat> All right. If that if you're in a relationship, you're you were again went through all of that shit and you ended up finding your relationship because of the fact that you walked away from the players and all those other people and again, you still have people mad from your past because you're in a relationship. Whether you're single in your relationship, you have people who want to be in a relationship with you who missed their chance who fumbled the bag who still have feelings for you or realize that they have feelings for you after you walked away it's like you don't know what you have until you lose it kind of vibes this also could be just anybody in general but it's definitely love friends you know they rejected you or they took you for granted and now it's like they they, they feel stabbed in the back because you ended the situation okay that was intense <laughs> <clears throat> you're no longer losing sleep over people Okay, you sleep perfectly fine now. Uh, some of you guys, you may have suffered from insomnia, 
insomnia <laughs> insomnia and stuff like that you could have had trouble sleeping and now it's like you're sleeping better um but also you just look more well rested but you're not losing sleep over the people or the situations that you moved on from okay you're very intuitive you can read people easily you can read people through uh to filth and that's your reputation is like you you're like a mind reader to people like you always know what's going on and people are like how'd you know that so people always say that they're like damn pal three knows what's going on all the time like they can they know <laughs> And uh, it's given like, say, a group of people are, are talking about you and stuff like that. And you come over and like, what y'all talking about, hmm? And then they're like, nothing. And you're like, yeah, whatever. And they're like, yo, they probably know. They know. Because they always know that you know. <laughs> they don't know how you know things. But you always know. And you always find out the truth. Okay, some of you guys, your current reputation is that you're in a happy relationship. But you're keeping it secret. And also, you could be married and you're keeping it secret. You know, but a lot of people want to invest into you. If you're single, a lot of people view you as hubby or wifey material. They view you as somebody that they would like to have a future with, but they're also scared. Especially those people who stabbed you in the back. They still, like, think of you as hubby or wifey material, but they're scared because they feel like if they try to hit you up, um, you're going to deny them because you probably will. But you do have people who, like, you didn't date or didn't invest into who are, like, googly eyes for you. A lot of people are longing for you. Multiple people. Not just, like, friends and, and lovers. Just anybody and everybody, you know what I'm saying? Because I think you're very, very much focused on yourself, as you should, you know? That's where we're going to call it. Pound number three. I love you guys. And I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Nah, 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 chill, 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 chill. <laughs> Bye. Uh.